adding butterfly overlays into your image is really easy to do. There are several methods in placing the butterfly overlays into your image. You can copy and paste, you can go to file and place and do it that way, or you can minimize your screen, have your overlay folder already open, and then simply click the overlay you want, hold and drag over top of your image. You'll see a plus symbol show up with your mouse, just release that once you see that. I'm going to go ahead and maximize my screen again. From here you can hold your shift key, grab one of those corner anchor points and drag inwards to shrink that overlay file. Now if you want to keep the butterfly on the same plane of field and depth of field as the girl or as your main object, you can simply leave that sharp. However, I always go in and go to filter, noise, and add noise. I add about 1% of noise and this just helps blend it in with the background a little bit more or with the overall image and it takes that crisp look off of it. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. Now let's say you want to add it into the background. So we're going, going to move it over here to the background. I'm going to shrink it just a little bit more because butterflies need to be a little bit smaller when they're in the background. Paying attention to sizing is really important. Go ahead and select OK. Then I'm going to go up to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. From here you can choose a blur that matches your depth of field best with the image. So I think about 7% looks pretty good there. 7 pixels look good. So I'm going to go ahead and choose OK. Now another thing a lot of people don't realize you can do with the overlays is you can adjust the color. So I'm going to right click over the layer and rasterize the layer just so we have it as an edit uh, editing file. And then I'm going to go up, make sure your folder is, your layer is still selected, then I'm going to go up, go to adjustments. You can either do hue and saturation or do variations. I really like doing variations when changing the color of butterflies because it's really easy to see what is happening. So from here I want to add more yellow and turn it into a yellow butterfly. So I'm just going to click more yellow and over here on my right hand side you can see it says lighter or darker. I'm going to go ahead and select lighter once. You can also change up here your shadows, midtones, and highlights. I have this set on midtones. I'm going to not do anything else. I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And now I have an orange butterfly instead of a red one. You can do so many different things with these when you can change the colors. So I'm going to go ahead and add more butterflies into my scene and finish up the image.